This is the Marvel Legends series from the pages of the Infinity Gauntlet comic books. The Mad Titan himself, Thanos. I picked up this figure from my local Toy Kingdom uh, toy store. It's priced on regular retail at about $46. Luckily, it was on 10% discount. So I picked it up for a little over $41. Not too bad, considering the fact that uh, most of these deluxe figures are going for about 50 bucks uh, at hobby shops. Very excited for this figure. I wasn't sure I was going to get him. I wanted to focus on, only on the X-Men, but if you're collecting Marvel Legends, you got to get some of the baddies. Doctor Doom, Magneto, and of course the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. They're one of those required pieces in any collection. So we'll do an unboxing. Uh, very quick view, very quick review of, of this figure. I'm just praying, I'm just hoping there are no quality issues. I mean, we're gonna see right now if there are. We're gonna find out together. Please let there be no quality issues. Okay. So mint in box. What do we got? We got the diorama of his space throne. <laughs> I don't know. His, his throne on Titan. I don't know. His hover chair, hover throne, whatever. It's been a while since I read the, the Infinity Gauntlet. One of the first few comic books I collected back in the day when I was into comic books. Wow. He actually looks great. Um, there are very, very minuscule, minuscule, very minor paint issues. From the ones I saw uh, on the shelf, you got to watch out for the super glue that's sticking out from under uh, his, his pauldron. Maybe some super glue right here. Um, some paint issues and some of the figures I've seen, the blue bleeding onto the gold. But the one that I got, I picked up. Uh, some blemish here and there. Uh, not too much. Not too much to complain about. I think I got lucky in terms of the paint apps. Stones on the gauntlet. Let's see if we can... and he's about to do that infamous snap. So everything's been painted. Power. Uh, soul. Mind. Time. Space. Reality. Yep, looking very good. And let's see the open-handed one. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Definitely pretty good. And he does come with an alternate head sculpt. Oh, my goodness. So it's an elderly Thanos head sculpt with his, with his crown. This is in an alternate reality, the end of days where Maestro is ruling the Earth, and the last Thor is Silver Surfer. I think that, I, at least that's what I think this head sculpt is from. Let me know in the comment section where you think this head sculpt is from. I think that's a storyline where this one is from. So yeah, the head sculpt looks fantastic. And on to the actual figure itself. Let's, see. Let's get this shell out of the way. Oh boy. Look at that. Look how amazing that is. Nicely painted eyes. The brow, gold brow on his helmet or his headgear. A uh, little imperfections in the gold, but that's, that's fine. The teeth, painted nicely. Yep, even this tongue inside of his mouth. The skin tone. It's actually looking pretty good. I love the gold plastic that they used for this figure. It kind of reminds me of the Marvel Universe 3.75 inch Thanos that I used to have. I don't have them anymore. I quit on the, I quit collecting the 3.75 inch line. It's, it's like a upsized, scaled up version of that one with obviously better details quite possibly better articulation and better proportions because that 3.75 inch was it's kind of it looked kind of like a hulk it's kind of squat but this one i think i love the proportions better and for the longest time people had been 
trying to get the Marvel Select version of Thanos. I've seen that. I've seen reviews of that one. I've seen buddies show that off. Uh, fellow collectors showing that off. Uh, it looks great in packaging, but the Marvel Select figures, they're just not a lot of fun to play with. Marvel Legends, on the other hand, a lot of fun to play with. Yeah, this thing came out great. Let me see if I can just pop off and put this thing right here. Snap. Yeah, very cool. In terms of articulation, he's got a ball jointed neck that is on a hinge. Just the old... Oh, it's a double ball joint peg. Yep, I can see it right there. There's a ball joint up here and then a ball joint on the bottom. Very cool. Uh, my good buddy, Ed. Uh, Mr. Poggy TV. Uh, he did a review of this one and he cautioned uh, fellow collectors about the quality issues that this figure would have in the ab crunch uh, so far on mine it's fine but uh, big thanks to ed for pointing that one out shoulders forward and backward they ratchet they also ratchet in and out uh, it's got a bicep swivel and an elbow swivel interesting hinge elbows he's got a swivel wrist hinge joint right there is there a waist oh Yep, there's a waist swivel, a little bit of a ratcheting joint, ratcheting ab crunch, as I mentioned earlier. Ball jointed hips go in and out, forward and backward, thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Is there a calf swivel? Uh, nope, too much to ask for, I guess. And the ankles can go up and down, and they have the rocker tilt. So in terms of aesthetics, I think Hasbro nailed it with this figure. The proportions are great, the details are great, Paint apps are great. They're spot on, absolutely near perfect paint apps. I got lucky. I got very lucky. Both head sculpts are absolutely amazing. Ah, there's just really nothing more to ask for from this figure. This is the best comic series Marvel Legends Thanos we have ever gotten in the 112 scale. I absolutely love this figure. So there you have it, folks. That was my quick unboxing review of the Marvel Legends new deluxe Thanos figure from the pages of the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, probably the best comic version of Thanos we have gotten so far to date. I'm so glad I got rid of the two predecessors to a uh, store exclusive, I think the Walmart exclusive version and the Builder figure. I'm glad I got rid of those and I'm especially glad I didn't bite the bullet and get the Marvel Select uh, version of this figure. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this new Thanos figure. As always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, please check out my Patreon account. There's a link in the description box below. These three are like the Darth Vader of the Marvel Legends for me. I'm sure there are other you know, worst villains out there. You got Galactus, but for me, these are the three essential villains that I thought I needed in my collection. Obviously, he's now no longer a villain because he's. Uh, but until I've I've gotten my white suit, Magneto, he is my Magneto for now, a classic villain of the X Men. Thanks for watching.